everybody. This is a special Lambley Showcase. Since we've all been asked to be home, I have taken viewer requests for topics on video to give you guys something to watch. And when I did ask, one of the topics that came up the most was my top 10 Hot Wheels cars. I have done variations of this video in the past, but it always changes. And so since you guys asked, I'm going to do it. But that's only part of this video. The other part is that our friends at Hot Wheels want to know your top five Hot Wheels cars. If you've been on Instagram, we've been sharing our top five Hot Wheels cars. Hot Wheels asked me for mine. I put up my top five. If you've been on Instagram, you've already seen it. That's why they're already here. And then I asked five of my friends to share theirs and so on and so forth. And our friends at Hot Wheels are watching very closely. And some of their favorite posts, they're going to put in their Instagram stories and share with the world. How cool is that? So I wanted to give you YouTube viewers a chance to see my top five on the YouTube channel. But you definitely want to go to Instagram and get involved in that top five list. We want everybody to start sharing them. But I'm going to give you YouTube viewers a little bonus. Not only am I showing you top five, I'm going to show you my top ten. So while the top five have been unveiled, I've got the other five ready to show as well. So we're going to walk through these right now. And I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Since the top five have already been unveiled, we're going to walk through those. And then I'm going to show you my number six through ten, those that just missed the cut. So here we go. I get to talk a little bit more about them than just putting them on my stories, but this is my number five best model. I asked you guys to guess on Instagram, Facebook, here on YouTube. Some of you guys got it really close, others way off, but it doesn't matter because the ultimately, when I'm asked for my top five, I'm going to take 20 seconds to figure out what they are. That's why it's always going to be different. You know, there's some that are going to can be up there consistently, but uh, what models excite me the most? And, you know, if you start thinking about it too much, you'll never come up with it because it's a near impossible task. But this is my number five. It is the 1965 Ford Galaxy. I'm actually going not only with the casting, but the specific release. This Junior Johnson version was from Vintage Racing back in, what, 2011? I have been, I have, this is a casting that has grown on me over, over the last few years since I got it in Vintage Racing. We saw it last year in uh, the 50th, no, it was two years ago, right? I guess in the 50th anniversary set um, and golf livery. And it's going to be a super treasure hunt. It's first foray into the basic range this year. June Amai designed this one. And I could argue that this is his best casting he's ever done. Um, I've debated that, but it's up there as one of the best. He's known for all of his JDM stuff, but he's done a lot of other great ones. And this is one of uh, a few in my top 10 from June Amai, the 65 Ford Galaxy. I just love how detailed it is. I love the stance. It's got such a classic muscle look. And, uh, and the 65 Ford Galaxy from Vintage Racing, the Junior Johnson in tan, is my number five. My number four, another June Amai casting that's not JDM. It is the 1976 Greenwood Corvette. These Corvettes were done by, is it John Greenwood, I believe was his name, or is it Bruce Greenwood? I tend to forget, but I know the last name was Greenwood for obvious reasons. This is from the Hot Wheels racing set that actually came out after Vintage Racing. This is the first edition of the, uh, oh yeah, there's a J Greenwood. I think it is John Greenwood on the roof. Um, this was a June of my casting. The first edition was done. This was the last mix of racing. Um, somewhat difficult to find, but you can see them out. They're out there on eBay right now. Not totally cheap, but not horrible either. Um, this is actually a licensed deco. I think, you know, the, the Greenwood Corvettes had this just over the top styling, uh, aftermarket styling, obviously for racing, the big, big front, uh, what would you call those headlights? I get, well, I mean, they're headlights, but just the way they're done are just so crazy. And, uh, I think June nailed this casting as well. We've seen it as a super treasure hunt. We've seen it as a, a convention model. Uh, it was a finale model. We've seen it uh, recently in um, in car culture in a very similar um, John Greenwood Sebring style. This is the 76 um, livery, but I love that first version. That is my number four. That's been a consistent top five model for me. Number three, also a consistent a uh, top five model for me is the Ford Transit Supervan. This one is designed by Mark Jones. This was done for Hot Wheels Heritage. Really interesting model. A lot of you guys, I've, I have been a huge fan. Some of you have questioned why I like this one so much. 
because it's a near-perfect casting of a very interesting, very cool car. Uh, we've seen it, you know, as a bit of a peg warmer in uh, pop culture. Uh, it was in car culture in the Golf series, but don't ignore this first version. Like I said, Mark Jones, who does all of the, almost all of the car culture decos or, or, or castings, did this super van. Um, I've talked about it a lot. I've written about it a lot. There's a great YouTube video out there, vintage vintage video about this. There's a Ford GT40 engine in the back of it, and it's actually, if you took this casting apart, you'd see it back there. I can't show it here, but uh, very, very cool casting. Little subtle things like the reverse rake on it. It sits a little higher in the front, and Mark Jones nailed that. Just a really, really cool casting, and that's, uh, like I said, a consistent top five. All right, number two and number one, I debated back and forth, but ultimately I decided on my number two casting is the Nissan Skyline van or wagon, whatever you want to call it. In Japan, it's the van, so it's the that's why they call it the 69 Nissan Skyline van. It's the Hakoska Skyline, only wagon version. I have debated, I, like if I have to go with uh, Junamai castings, this is also a Junamai casting, debuted in car culture, it's uh, been in pop culture, it's going to be a mail-in, and then it's been in Team Transit, but this first version in this mint green color is just so Japanese to me, and if you asked me for my official best Junamai casting, it's this one. And the only reason why, is against the Galaxy, the Galaxy is so spot on, the Greenwoods as well, and so many of June's castings are, but I add, I put this one above those two. It's one of my favorites, of course. It's my number two. But in terms of June of my best casting, because this is more in the, like, this one is his personality. It's his styling. He loves that Shakotan style, the lowered, smaller wheels version, that, uh, uh, type, of, um, type of styling on this one. So not only is it crisp, precise, um, I think it's a step above his 510 wagon. Um, it's also got that styling that he likes so much. And... Who doesn't kind of like this the way that's been done? So very much a Hot Wheels, like Hot Wheels started as California Customs taking cars that we like, giving them a little bit of that flair, a little bit of that style. And that's why I think that is June's, June of my signature is the 510 wagon because it's based on his car. But his best casting for execution and styling, in my opinion, is that Hakoska wagon. And I love it. It was my, it's gone back and forth between a number one and number two. If I do this again in a year, it might be my number one. But my number one is this one. The Mercedes-Benz 190E Evo. I think it's got a longer name. What is it? 190E 2.5-16. Just an iconic, iconic 80s, 90s era car. And I just think that this one, from Modern Classics where it debuted, designed by Mark Jones, who also did the Supervan, this one, I just, I have a little bit more of a connection to this car. Not that I've had it, but it's just more from my era. And I, you know, I, I get talked about because I love the JDM stuff, and I definitely do because I love all, you know, my heritage with Honda and my family and so on and so forth. But this car, there's just something about it that makes it my favorite Hot Wheels car. Just beautifully executed. Its debut in its signature black can never be topped. And I hope they try. I want to see this in the RLC. I'd love to see it as a convention model. You name it. It's one of my favorite castings up there. But this particular model from Modern Classics is my number one. All right, that's my top five. Those are my explanations. Let's go to number six through ten. We'll start with number ten. These have not been unveiled because I went top five on Instagram. Some might surprise you. Some might not. That's okay. Number ten. We'll count down. From the RLC, the Red Line Club, it is the Custom 66 GTO Wagon. Now, all of the castings in my top five and most of the castings in my top ten are castings that, no matter what the release, I'm super excited about them. But this one, this is a casting that I really like. I don't collect as a completist, but this RLC version in Copper Spectre Flame with Chrome Steelies and white interior is just too cool to ignore, and it passes so many other favorites in my uh, in my collection, so many models I collect, and to, to take a spot in the top 10, it's just that pretty. One of the best RLC models ever done, in my opinion, and uh, that one, right now at least, is in my top 10. All right, number nine, 
It can't get more recent than this, but this one really caught my attention, surprised me like crazy. Um, I've always liked the casting, but this version is so nice. It is the Nissan Skyline GTR R34 RLC membership model. I thought the blue version from last year and the convention version from last year were very, very nice, but this Spectre Flame Purple with the dark chrome six-spoke reel riders... If you've got it in your possession, you uh, you might agree with me. I hope you do that. This is one of the coolest RLC models they have ever done. It's absolutely stunning in purple, and um, the best version of this casting to me by far. And again, I don't know if it can be passed. They've, it's a tribute to Midnight Purple, which is a rare signature uh, Skyline color, and I just think that one is fantastic. Number eight. Another classic, a hard one to get, but one that I think is so beautifully executed. It is the Ferrari 599XX from Speed Machines. This one has been up there for me a lot. It's a raw model. It's a Zamac model, no paint, but it does have this black and red trim on the sides and on the back that looks, or I'm sorry, on the top, that looks so nice. Totally detailed headlights, taillights. It's got the Ferrari emblem on the front and the back. It's so crisp the deco and i love the speed machine co-mold wheels and i love that it's just done in gray here it just fits the styling perfectly it's just such a well-executed car um, version of a well-executed casting i don't know who did it phil realman did the uh, skyline by the way i don't know who did the wagon and i don't know who did the ferrari i should probably find that out but that is my number eight number seven these two just barely missed out I have talked about certain castings as being all-timers for me. Uh, the Hakosuka Wagon, obviously the 190E, now you know that. The Supervan, the Greenwood Corvette. There's one other one that uh, a lot of you know is one of my favorites. And this is the only basic model to be in my top 10. And it is the first release of the 1972 Ford Gran Torino Sport. Designed by Brendan Vitesky, who also did the 55 Bel Air Gasser. There's the RLC version, which I love. I think I've actually put that in my favorites before. But this time I'm going with the basic. The first edition uh, in green with the green stripe. This is the same deco as the uh, as the Gran Torino Sport that was in the movie Gran Torino with Clint Eastwood, right? Uh, this one has a little bit more of a Hot Wheels rake to it, which I actually like with this car. I love the front grill. I think Brendan did a very good job on this one. And obviously we're going to see this in, uh, is it premium? Um, premium Fast and Furious, right? Which is very, very nice. I'm just a big fan of that casting. Total completist. I think right now I'm going to say it has to be in my top 10 because I love the casting so much. And that first edition is the one that gets the spot. All right. This is the one that just missed the top five. And the number six casting also a fairly recent release, a casting that I am in just in love with, and this is by far my favorite version. It is the Nissan Silvia S15. From Car Culture was it Street Tuners in pearl white with just the simple rear and front detailing. Loved it in Forza. Fast and Furious didn't really like the deco, but I like the I just like the release. I love the new uh, Boulevard version of Formula Drift. And I really like the Fast and Furious version before that, the uh, the gunmetal gray version. But this one in pearl white, it, like the others, will not be topped. It's just way too good looking and uh, a casting that I adore. Jimmy Liu was involved in this one. Jimmy does the marketing for a lot of these brands, uh, a lot of these lines, RLC, and uh, helps in the planning. And he's a big fan of the S15, and he helped... Uh, he helped design this one. He got his hands a little dirty in the design. I think he worked with Mark Jones. And ultimately, that is my number six of my Hot Wheels top ten. I want to know yours. I want to know what you guys think about my list. I get uh, so many comments about my love for JDM. Obviously, it's indicative of uh, of what's in these top ten. I mean, I've got the Hakoska. I've got the, I've got the Skyline and the Sylvia. But there's a lot more muscle than maybe you think. There's a couple of European cars. There's a wagon. Hopefully, you're a little surprised by that, but that's indicative. Now, 
one other thing before I go, and I haven't done this preview yet, but I have a feeling since it's not been officially released yet, I'm not going to put it in my top 10, but I have a feeling once it is, this beauty will be cracking that top 10. That is the RLC RWB Porsche. We'll be doing a full preview on this one. Um, obviously, I have it so I can do the preview with its opening trunk and its opening doors. It's incredible amount of detail it's an amazing casting it will be on sale soon don't know exactly when based on all of the uh, circumstances in the real world but uh, ultimately i think once that one's released it's going to break the top 10 too but that's for another time thanks everybody you guys tell me what you think go to instagram share your top five on your stories you might see how we'll share it more to come bye